you feel if you feel it if you feel something say something in this modern time and era why will you why would you decide to sweep the ocean and everything so that's how somebody said i'm going to sweep. Hey, i would rather die in silence sister die in silence and say something you will not die say something and you will not die say something and you will not die tell that person stop dying in that friend zone area stop dying there this is, there are so many reasons why people just do the reasons don't actually count <laughs> Cause I don't know why nobody changed me now Cause I like, cause I like to be myself If you're not agree, you can walk away You can walk away, you can walk away Something, something in my mind Leaves me thin, leaves me thin, I ain't nobody perfect Something, something in my mind Leaves me thin, leaves me thin, I ain't nobody perfect guys good morning well if it's morning when you're watching this you're welcome to my youtube channel and it's your girl elizabeth exquisite leaves it's sunday and it's the last sunday of the year <laughs> glory be to god whether you're a christian whether you're a muslim or whatever it is you believe or do not believe in just be grateful for the fact that we privileged to see this last Sunday. If you're watching this, it means that you were privileged to see it too. You have all reasons to just be thankful for the mere fact that you're alive, you're breathing. It's it's a testimony. So whatever you believe in, just be thankful. Just be grateful that we're here. How has it been? It's like two days after Christmas, Abby. Yeah. So how was your Christmas? How did you spend it? What was the one significant thing you did? Like, how was Christmas for you? I don't know. Christmas for me this year, hmm, I don't know. It was it was okay. It was good. I I pretty much did not do so much. Just went to the market. Wanted to me. I wanted to actually do it. I did a Christmas vlog, but then last minute I changed my mind on posting it. I might still end up posting it anyway. But yeah and i just cooked and i ended up the day I ended the day with a good book yeah i'm a reader so christmas day is not a day for me to go out because i feel like it's going to be rowdy and all that so i'd rather end up watching a really nice movie or a really nice book and i ended the day with a really nice book and of course juice and we're still in the christmas spirit so we have to drink them so this is cranberry i like it it was introduced to me by one of my friends and i have been taking it mm. It's really nice you should try it so 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 the year is about coming to an end we have like approximately is it four or five days before the year comes to an end and you know the caption of this video is would you rather sweep the ocean or shoot your shots there has to be some really good changes as you're entering 2021 in as much as we are trying not to make plans before our plans will back and um, bounce back at us and everything but you have to enter into the new year with a new mindset like so now would you rather sweep the ocean than shoot your shots i'm talking to the girls this time guys i, I feel like it's 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 not something that uh, you could think about anymore although people still find it hard anyway you know how I, I like few days later I, I i asked some of my friends this question because for some reason it has been I don't know it has been on my mind it has been a topic of discussion because you know why i'm even doing this video this year because some people have stayed comf like comfortably stayed in the friend zone trial this year and they are about to do that next year and i it is my prayer that after you have finished watching this video you would have the courage to ask to tell that guy how you feel so to at least let him know like it's not the end of the world like okay i can understand your sentiment like before now like if you had asked me maybe um last year earlier last year would you rather sweep the ocean than i was even looking there's even there was a particular like quote one i saw but i've been looking for it and i have not actually found it if you had asked me this in early this year i would have said oh i'm i was with the ocean no, no. but now looking at it like i'm like why it's not so much of a big deal first of all let's 
then let's do a disclaimer what shooting your shots really is as against what it is not if you see me looking down anyway i wrote down some nuggets so that i don't end up forgetting because we are going to treat this matter like i'm just tired of the whole imagine you just you know what is raining now friend zone friend zone is the normal the baba and everything now it's bestie zone my bestie now the worst part if anybody puts you in this zone just know that your own has finished guy zone ah my guy my guy ah please do not let yourself be put in any zone no like what shooting your shots really is some and when you ask some people people especially the ladies and no i think some of them they say they feel like when they say shooting your shot it means like you're going to ask a guy out or you're going to like you know you are not asking anybody out you're not asking anybody to marry you you are just letting your feelings know oh this is how i feel about you no pressures no nothing i just wanted to let you know just in case and they are very 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 there are many ways to do this without even verbally saying it you just have to know the right words but do not die in silence like somebody told me that she would rather die in silence than actually shoot your shot i can understand the sentiment it goes like maybe pride the fear of rejection losing the friendship awkwardness those are some things when people consider this and like ah they don't want this kind of thing but i feel like life is is life is life is a gamble life is a risk and if you're not willing to take the risk you might not actually know what's in the other end most times i think when i want to make a decision that is summer i ask myself what's the worst that can happen okay this is the worst that can happen will i die after that no and i go ahead and do it because see this life is it's just one you have to leave it like it's your last day and the last moment you cannot leave it like you have as much as oh we thank god for long life and everything but there is no guarantee about that yeah i think i'm talking too deeply now i know but the bottom line is that see most times you I, like i remember i've been you know i've been i i've been in a situation in school not really don't worry it's not a situation she but when i thought about it now i'm like i was okay i had a crush on this guy in school he was my friend and you know the funny part they're always your friend you'll be doing emotional support you'll be talking to the person you'll be advising the person will be there in fact most times everybody will know that both of you are like they always see you people together and everything and then you are feeling it but you cannot say anything like most times for the guys it's especially guys in this our generation most times they are really they can be really clueless especially if they've actually come to see you as just like you know like if they've seen you like the guy guy zone my guy and everything it's hard for them to see you in another light and everything and they might not even guess that that's what you'll be feeling if you don't say anything you really need to say something stop letting these guys guys on you like if you feel something say something you don't have to wait if you can't say something at least do something get somebody to help you just don't keep quiet because it is it is actually emotional torture to actually have these feelings inside of you boiling and you have to stifle you have to stifle the feeling and like ah i don't think you have to get on with it i know most things about i want to about us girls is that once you like somebody and all to an extent your mind is just relegated around that person you will not be open for other things at least if you say something and the person is interested you can know what you could need to do like i remember there was one answer that i really liked that one of my friends or two people gave to me one said if i like somebody after some time i'll say ah guy i have if the person is your friend especially I have a crush on you no pressures nothing i just thought you should i just thought to let you know finish chicken huh? anyway there's a plane i think there's a plane i barely cooked that flying over so in case you're hearing that means that's what it's saying i know so chicken and another one said i would let and another one said i would let the person know how i'm feeling at this point like okay this is how i'm feeling now it's not like anything then we continue the friendship it does not mean that if you tell the person i although sometimes it might be awkward and all that things but yeah you overcome the awkwardness like as much as you don't want to risk the friendship what would you imagine what, what would you what would you, if you don't want to risk the friendship and all that what would you actually what would you actually gain staying in silence stop dying in silence in this 2021 decide to say something just in case you want some tips on how to shoot your shorts and all that one please comment on the section and probably in the next video i'll be giving you some really nice proven tips 
especially for those of you that probably do not have the boldness to say it with your mind and with that just in mind to say it with your mouth and everything there are other things you can do but you actually need to shoot your shot sister do not sweep the ocean no. ocean need to finish you you see how big the ocean is even if you start from now to the end of the world you will not be able to finish it so say it and get over with it there's nothing there for those of you that are christian that say oh no the guy is supposed to pursue blah, blah. ask sister root do you know sister root in the bible i'm sure sister root and uncle boas Sister Ruth was just there uh, strutting around. Uncle Boas was not seen. I was seen as. Uh, and then Uncle Boas could have been a very responsible person and he doesn't want to like you. Well, of course, Sister Ruth was like his employee, employee or something. Employee, employer, employee. Uh -huh, employee. And he didn't want to seem like he was taking advantage of her and everything. That's why he probably did not even entertain that thought and all. And Sister Ruth has been. I'm sure Sister Ruth has been strutting around, strutting around. But she said, ah, this brother is not doing anything. Else. And so Naomi now told her, if you stay here, you will stay here till you from now to tomorrow. This brother, uh, Uncle Boaz, will go and look for another baby. And that's what has happened to most of you girls. You are doing friendship, friendship, bestie, bestie, and all that one. In your koro koro eyes like this, you will go and meet another person when you should have said something. You will be doing best, uh, bestie, bestie, and emotional side chick. Meanwhile, the, this one, when you would have just said something. And so Naomi advised Sister Ruth. And Sister Ruth went straight to the point and went there. Like Boaz is like you have not been seeing me since. So let me let me just come so that you know I am not your I'm not your sister. I'm not your this. I'm not that. This is what I want. And Boaz was able to recognize and like oh okay. And then he took he took he took it from her. The one thing about one thing you should know is that making the first move does not mean that you would have to keep on making that first move and everything if the person is a responsible person and everything once you make that statement he will take it from there many people are afraid that oh if they continue the, if they maybe say something it will feel like they are the ones that are pursuing the person and most times in the relationship and it might turn against them and everything then that situation is very stupid and everything then that person is very immature because saying something does not mean you don't value yourself or it does not diminish your value as a woman in fact it gives you a sense of assertiveness that you can see something if you, if you you say something if you're feeling something you're not going to just die in silence because you're trying to like oh there's there's no delegation or oh, ladies rule and this rule once you say something if the person is mature and the person will take it from there get me the person will take it from there anyway before this video is over please if you have not subscribed i forgot to do that how can i forget please subscribe to my channel subscribe like and leave a comment tell me what do you think about this whole shooting your shot would you rather shoot your shot or you will strip the ocean and why and tell me in case you want some tips on how to shoot your shots well i'm your plug ah this recently, I was trying to look for books. Like, I was not even looking for anything in particular. I just saw one book, How to Get Out of the Friend Zone. I'm like, hey, this thing is serious. So, they've even written a book on that. I've not actually read the book. When I read the book, I will come and give you the tips and everything. In 2021, girls are not smiling. In 2021, bye-bye to Friend Zone. Bye-bye to Guy Zone. Bye-bye to Best Zone. Bye-bye to Emotional Side Chick. If you feel something, you say something. If you feel something, you say something. Please comment on that section. We're ending with it. If you feel something, you say something. That is our slogan. If you feel something, you say something. We are no longer sweeping the ocean. So I'll see you in the next video. It's four days to the new year. Try and, as much as you're not making plans and everything, but try and be setting up a new mindset for the next day starting with this one and just in case there's somebody there that you like sister sister tell that brother brother i they feel you you they feel me <laughs> yes you cannot die you will not die sister you will not die try it you will not die it might turn out to be something really good and everything i know i see you shoot your shots do not strip the ocean if you feel something say something be like sister roots and take the bull by the horn i'll be the horn by the bull either way shoot yourself